Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna to get the house wrap on the addition. But before I can do that, I need to get the ends of these soffits capped off. I'm gonna use this for this one. I'm gonna put it on there, trace it, cut it out, and then I'll make a template for the other side. And I don't think I'll get both of them out of this, but I have to cut this window out as well. So when I get the window, well, I'll cut the window out right away, trace it onto there, and get both of those capped off. Then I can start house wrapping this and I have a bunch of other stuff that need to get done as well. So once the house wrapping's done, we'll just plow ahead and get whatever done that needs to be done. For the last week or so, they've been calling for rain this morning and then taking it out of the forecast, putting it in, taking it out. As of last night, it was out of the forecast and now this morning, they're calling for rain at about three o'clock. So if I can get this house wrap on before three o'clock, that'll be great. They may have taken the rain out already, but who knows? I have stuff that I can do in the shop if it does rain. So let's get going on this. We'll see how far we can get. We'll see if it rains. If it doesn't rain, that's perfect. We can install the staging on here which is kind of like scaffolding and get ready to install the roofing. All right, I got these fillers in and I got both of them from that same piece. I went and trimmed them with the oscillating tool wherever they were proud. It has to be flush or a little bit less than flush on the top and this face and then this underside this is gonna get capped with metal at some point, and then the fascia, or the soffit, is gonna go right here. So the piece is flush with these cross members here. Now, I gotta cut out this window. I'm gonna go on the inside and cut this out with the Sawzall, and I'm gonna leave, oh, right around a quarter inch, and then I'm gonna go around with the router and trim it flush.
Okay, got my fillers in place and the window cut out. Wow, that's gonna be a nice view, especially once we get this container out of here. We're putting a wall in here next year, right along there, in addition to the next addition for this. And at that time, while we got the guy here, we're hoping to get this container and the one that's down by where the round pen used to be. We're hoping to get both of them behind the shed here. Yeah, that would be really nice. That way they would be closer to the house. Well, that one would be closer to the house and we can use them for storage. The way it is, the one down there, we just never go down there. So it's really not that great for storage. Okay. So looking real good here, nice and smooth. We're going to be doing some prep work on that, but not today. Let's take a look at it from the outside. Yeah, that looks really nice. The window, the flange for the window is going to go almost up to that mount for the soffit there. And I'll have to do some creative trim work around that, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, that looks nice. All right, I got to take this blocking off of here. I believe I have that all the way around and clean up just a bit and we'll start getting that house wrap on here. All right, I dug out all of my house wrap scraps. This is a full roll that was cut and it's probably about four feet. This was used on the wood shop but we got various other ones of different lengths. I think what I'm going to do is cut this one down. I'm not sure if it's going to go all the way around, but I'll get it cut so that it goes from the bottom of the soffit there down to the bottom of the foundation right here. And as long as I go past this window right here, it'll do this whole side real easy. It might go all the way around, but I have plenty of other stuff. It just won't look really professional because I'll have zigzags and stuff, but don't really care. All right, let me go cut this one and we'll get started. Okay, I got this cut to length. All I did was measure it out and cut it on the chop saw. And I got a little bit of extra length on there. I'm going to tuck it under here and then down. And then I'll trim it off at the bottom of this later on. So when I start, I'm going to go a little bit onto here and flush up at the top and get a few staples in here, pull it over, get it nice and straight. And then once you have it started like that, you could basically just walk it around the house, but I got to make sure that I'm going straight with the bottom of this soffit all the way around. It shouldn't be too hard. Biggest problem is going to be reaching up there. I'm going to have to bring my little stool with me. You can, once you got it tacked in place to start, I can go around the corner and then just set it down. Got to get rid of all this stuff first. All right, let me get a driver and take those cleats off and then we'll get started.
Okay, grab some more staples. That looks like it should about do it. My big roll made it nearly to the end. Well, I guess it made it halfway across this side. And then I used this wide stuff for the bottom and that'll work just fine right there. So we'll cover this last spot and then we'll get this peak here. I have some wider stuff for this. Hopefully I can do it with one piece. Something to note about this, you always start at the bottom and work your way up. You want all of your seams to shed water. If I started at the top and then put one over that, if water gets on it, it's going to run right behind the one below it. So make sure you do it like shingles and start at the bottom. And when you do these seams, use the correct seam tape. This is Blockit seam tape on Blockit insulation. Well, you can use any seam tape, but make sure you use seam tape. And then once you get the tape on, burnish it with something, just a smooth edge. And what you're doing is pressing the adhesive into the paper. Okay. Yeah, that's real nice and sealed. I'm going to go around and do the bottoms and all that stuff once I get the last of the paper on. So let's hurry up and get that on. It looks like it's going to rain at any time now. They said 3 o'clock, but it really looks like it's raining over there already. All right, let's hurry up and get this done. It's raining out, but... I got this thing completely wrapped. It took the majority of the day because I got stopped by rain three times now where I had to load up all the tools, bring them over to the shop and back into the shop and then come back and dry things off. But it is done. I'm gonna finish taking these dogs for a walk and then we'll do an outro then. You need your stick? Asia's rolling in the tall grass right there, or weeds, I should say. Deja. Deja. Sounds like a pig. She's snorting because she's happy. She really loves rolling in the weeds like that. Bunch of goofy dogs. Little bit of fall color here. It's raining pretty good. I think we're gonna have to end our walk and head back. It's raining pretty good now. All right, let's go. Come on, dogs, hurry. Okay, well, this camera is not waterproof with this microphone on it, so. I'll talk to you later. Wow, it was really coming down there for a while. Came out here to see if this thing is leaking yet. It'll leak through these cracks right here, but it's not doing it so far. Good, good, good. I think I'll get this light and this stuff out of here and that's gonna be it for today. I'm really glad I got done what I needed to get done today. Tomorrow I'm going to set up that staging that gets a hole through the wall 
Well, I'll show you all that stuff tomorrow. I'll do a review of the staging, but we're gonna put the staging up right underneath the soffit there. So I'll be able to reach basically the whole roof. I might have to go up for like the last row, but I should be able to get at least this whole side shingled tomorrow. And then I got to cut out both of these openings and hopefully get this whole side shingled the day after that. Yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. The skylights have all kinds of flashing on them and we'll be doing a separate video on that. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.